Okay. So let me get that out of the way. Today we are talking about angles for 16.3. And if you are a snowboarder or a skier and you or skateboarder and you do 360 degree turns or 180 degree turns, that's an angle that you're talking about when you talk about those numbers. And if you're, they're asking you about an angle, you usually see uh, this little part of a circle and that's, they wanna know what the angle is of that. So if you have your hand like this, what is this? What is a measurement of this angle is what they're asking you about. And we usually refer to, we use a circle to kind of talk about a whole, a whole unit and that's 360 degrees. So a unit angle, just like a unit fraction is one out of 360 degrees. So it'd be like a little teeny tiny, teeny tiny angle, 360 of those make up a circle. So down here, I have this one and it's broken up into four pieces. And if you wanna know what just this angle is right here, you would do 360 divided by four and 36 divided by four is nine. And then you would add a zero. So this is a 90 degree angle. And you write it with this little bubble up on top That's a degree symbol. So if that's 90 degrees, this is 90 degrees, this is 90 degrees, and this is 90 degrees. So all together, this should always equal 360 degrees. If they wanted to know what two pieces of this circle were, you could just do 90 plus 90, and that would tell you two pieces of a circle. All right, it's got erased. So this one they're talking about, they've broken this up into two pieces. So this is where this angle is asking you, what's this angle? And so you would just do 360 divided by two. If you don't know, we'll just use division. Eight times two is 16. So 360, we're talking about this straight line is 180 degrees. So if somebody does like a skateboard trick and they do a half, a half of a full flip, they call it 180 degrees. So this right here would be 180 degrees. And that makes sense because this was 90 and this was 90 plus 90 is 180. So that makes sense. Now, sometimes you'll see it like this. We'll ask you, what's the angle? of one sixth of this circle. And it's the same thing we just said, 360 divided by six. Six goes into 36, six times, six times six, 36. So this angle or the degree, sorry, is 60 degrees. And that's the degree sign again right there, the little circle. Okay, so let's take a look at your actual some problems in your math book that you might see. All right, so this is the practice page that you're gonna do, and I'll just, um, this one, you're going to do one of about one twelfth of a circle. So you would do 360 divided by 12. Now this one, be careful what they're asking. They divided it into 20 parts. So first you need to do 360 divided by 20. And if you don't know how to do that, you could do repeated subtraction of groups of 20. But then they want to know what three of those parts are. So after you figured out what each piece is worth by doing division, then you need to add that number three times to get that one. Um, same thing here. You're gonna divide it by nine, but then they wanna know about two of those parts. So 360 divided by nine, and then what is the angle of these two? What's the measure of these two? And then this one right here, be careful because 
um, he has two pizzas. So they want to know how many people he could feed with two whole pizzas. So be careful with that one. Now this one, there are only, he cut a pie, there's three slices left. The angle measure for the three slices is 72. How many slices did Sam cut the pie into? So I would probably do 72 divided by three. And that's gonna give me what each individual slice is. And then um, add those pieces together. Oh, yeah, sorry. <laughs> and then I would figure out how much each of the slices are and then um, subtract that from 360. I'm gonna do that actually. I'm gonna do it. Because it's not making sense to me while I'm talking about it. So let me see here. So 72 degrees. And let me switch here. Okay, so this is going to tell me how much each, uh, the angle of each piece was. This. So the uh, 72 divided by 3 is 2 times 2 is 6. 7 minus 6 is 1. 3 given the 12 four times. Zero. Okay, so each piece is 24 degrees, right? And we have to have uh, pi is 360 degrees. And this is kind of unfair because we haven't gone over this kind of division, but it's okay. We will do this together. 24 goes into 36 one time. It's the same thing, just a little bit harder. All right, 24 goes into 120, 25. Let's see. Actually, I'm not even gonna have you guys do this wrong. See, this is what happens when you're a teacher. I feel like this is not math we've covered in fourth grade, so I don't think you should do that problem. So if you're watching this video, then you'll know that you don't need to do uh, number five. All right. 